Hi, I'm Sebastian König and I would like to introduce my new video for CMI VFX. In my last video I've been showing you how to use Blender's compositor, how to use and set up render layers and render passes and how to integrate CG elements into some real footage. Well, this video will be the other way around. So we'll integrate green screen footage into a CG environment. Well, of course, before we do that, we have to get rid of the actual green screen in the footage. And that brings us to the subject of this tutorial, which is green screen keying with Blender. Now, when it comes to keying, you might look enviously over at applications like After Effects, where you have great keying tools like the Foundry's Key Light, for example, where you can create a sort of a one-click key. So you just pick the color and it looks great. However, the first glance looks better than it actually is, because when you look closely, you can see there's some transparency coming through. And when you have a look at the, the combined mat, you will find that there are indeed some gray areas where it should be completely white. And for that, you've got some tools and you can increase the, the, the blacks, you can clip the whites. You can uh, work against hard edges with a clip roll back and softness and shrink and glow and stuff like that. So there are some nice tools in here. But still you might have to work against all these problems with a garbage mat uh, so that you can pull two different keys or just limit some of these effects to a certain area. So there are a lot of controls and settings that you can use and adjust and all these seem to somehow be uh, an exclusive part of this uh, particular plugin. But the truth is we've got all these controls and settings in Blender as well. So we've got the same footage here inside Blender's node editor and without even using a keyer at all we are able to create a pretty good alpha channel that at this point suffers from the same problems as uh, the key light in After Effects, but uh, with a few more nodes we are able to correct that and then use that as our key. And after that it's just a matter of despilling, using the alpha channel, then maybe creating light wrap to then overlay that over some background footage, uh, maybe add some effects to that. It could use a better color grading, I know, but the point is we were able to create a really great key uh, just with a few standard tools in Blender um, and we even got the motion blur and hair detail. So maybe when you think of keys like this as an elegant one solution keying machine with all the bells and whistles, then think of Blender as your nicely assembled, flexible, do-it-yourself toolbox. And uh, how to set up and use these tools will be the main focus of this tutorial.